Hi there, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to another episode of Choosing Your First Handgun, Seven Things to Consider. You've stuck with me for a long time now. We're all the way to the seventh episode where we're going to discuss aesthetics. Like the last episode when we talked about physical challenges, aesthetics is completely personal. Each person has a different opinion. Some people like to pretend like their opinions are fact, <laughs> but it's an opinion. So if I think that something looks really cool and something else is just hideous, that is only my opinion and should not affect what you choose for yourself. So um, you need to decide what looks good to you or if you even care if it looks good. Now, if someone was going to carry open and it was going to be part of their wardrobe and it was going to be visible, they may put a little more into the aesthetics than someone who was always going to keep it completely covered. Also, you might consider aesthetics this way. If you're going to carry it for the purpose of self-defense and it's possible that you might have to use it as deadly force and it's probably going to be confiscated by the police for a period of time and maybe not treated so well, you might not want to pick a $2,500 beautiful 1911. You might want to pick something that's a little lower budget. Still pretty to you, but not necessarily really high dollar or really blingy, okay? Um, some people just don't care. Some people are just practical. They want it to work well. They want it to be consistent, and they really just don't care what it looks like. Um, I'm kind of both. I like a beautiful gun. Like, I think my Springfield, my Springfield EMP is a beautiful gun. However, I'm perfectly fine with carrying the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. Uh, two completely different ballparks in terms of aesthetics. This is not what I would consider to be a beautiful gun, but it's attractive to me. It looks fine to me. I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. I think it's perfectly fine. I don't think it's ugly at all. Um, my Sig Sawyer P938. I think it's a pretty gun. I think the style of it is pretty. But it's in my holster underneath my clothes, and the only person that sees it is my husband. So, it doesn't really matter that much to me. <laughs> What's hugely important to me is does it run well and is it consistent? If it's malfunctioning on me, gone. Okay? Not cool. If I can have it gunsmithed so that it'll work well, great. If not, bye-bye. See you later. So, sometimes something can be gorgeous but not run well. You need to make sure that the running well is a little higher on your balance sheet than what it looks like. If you can make those two meet, that's great. But if you can't, pitch the aesthetics and go for the function, okay? So, again, completely personal. It's all up to you. What looks good to you? That's what matters. All right, see you in the next episode. It'll be the final one we're going to talk about budget.